Very good Wednesday to you, everybody. Three new senior meteorologist Matt Wentz here with your forecast. Appreciate you joining us here on our YouTube channel as well as WKYC.com. We've got sunshine today, but it's deceiving sunshine. Temperatures today up near 20, so there's that, but it feels more like the low single digits as we go throughout the rest of your day. Clouds will eventually fill in, and then we start to deal with snow chances. Our snow chances really in two waves. The first wave arrives tomorrow morning. Just in time for that rush hour, it'll be a very narrow band of snow, so some people are going to be left out of this, favoring southern communities where we actually stay dry, but this could still shift in future model runs. Either way, tomorrow morning we're going to have a persistent band of light to moderate snow. Not going to produce a lot of snow, but as we saw yesterday morning, this could cause all sorts of problems. So snow tomorrow morning, and that will likely linger near the lake shore as we go throughout the day. And then eventually it all comes back at us as lake effect tomorrow night. So much of Thursday will be quiet for a lot of you, but we'll have to watch where that band sets up. Here comes the lake effect as winds are shifting out ahead of our next weather system. Could get some heavier snow as you get out in the snow belt tomorrow night. And then it all comes down across all of Northeast Ohio on Friday. This will be our next wave of low pressure. This is the bigger deal in terms of snow, and this encompasses all of Northeast Ohio, not just the snow belt. General snow comes through. Here's your Friday morning rush hour, could get messy. And then as we go throughout the day, this system moves through with general snow, but we're also bringing the wind off the lake and that means lake effect or lake enhanced snow where we already have it. We could get some heftier bands forming, not just in the primary snow belt, but downtown Cleveland out towards the west side, Lorraine County, even Erie Huron counties. We could get some good lake effect snow intermingled with this. That continues throughout Friday night into Saturday, and it'll become more of a primary snow belt issue from there. How much snow? This is just tomorrow. This is that narrow band that sets up, I think, a general one to three for our northern counties with this. Have to keep an eye on the snow belt east of Cleveland as well. And then we throw in Friday's snow, and we're talking a lot more, general two to five down towards the south, and I would be comfortable going four to eight across our northern counties. That's an impactful snowfall as we go on into your Friday. If you're making Friday plans Friday evening, it looks certainly much snowier around here. Long Ranger forecasts. We continue with lake effect snow, primary snow belt on Saturday as the winds turn northwest. And then we're out of it on Sunday. And next week we start to warm up so much so that we're back to rain by Tuesday with another round of rain perhaps later next week. It does look pretty rainy next week. So if you want to play in the snow, kids, this weekend is the time to do it before it all melts. Union Home Mortgage seven day forecast. There's your snow potential Thursday, Friday and Saturday before we break out of it on Sunday and rain arrives with temperatures up near 40 degrees by next Tuesday. We'll get a look at the latest model runs on the TV side of things coming up at four o'clock. We'll see you then.